disease and by the year twenty six see the c d c says that number is expected to jump to fourteen million and despite the growing need for memory clear services here in arizona there are no standard regulations for dementia care and assisted living facilities a new bill aims to change that and increase training our michaela marshall live in the newsroom for us tonight michaela advocates say this legislation could truly be life-saving I spoke with one woman who tells me her mother, who had dementia, died two and a half years ago after being brutally attacked while at an assisted living facility. She says if this bill was law before the assault, it's possible her mom would still be here today, or she would have been able to pass peacefully, surrounded by family. My entire life changed in, in a moment, in an absolute blink of an eye. Kathy Mazur is haunted by the pain of her mother's final moments. In June 2021, police say they investigated after reports a 93-year-old assaulted Kathy's 90-year-old mom, Joanne Thompson. Both were residents at a Phoenix-assisted living facility, and Kathy says both had dementia. That fateful day, Kathy says her mom wandered into a neighbor's room and was brutalized with two metal hangers. She was severely injured with uh, her right hand was completely degloved to, to all the skin was removed, uh, revealing bone and tendons, uh, traumatic injuries all over her face and head. A few days later, Joanne died. Homicide detectives took over the case and police say witnesses told them the same person was aggressive with at least one other resident prior to Joanne's death. Kathy says her mom's attacker was found to not be responsible due to her dementia, and she has since died of natural causes. It's too late for my mother, but it's not too late for other people. We can make a difference and save lives. The tragedy has fueled Kathy's desire to enact change. Her current focus is helping pass a new bill. House Bill 2764 requires the Department of Health Services to create a specific license for facilities that provide memory care services. According to the Alzheimer's Association, currently there are no minimum standards defining memory care, which means Arizona's nearly 2,000 assisted living facilities operate under their own interpretation. Corporate offices all about sales and census and, you know, not about training. Former assisted living facility manager Jennifer Owinda says the new legislation would raise the bar by increasing the amount of dementia-specific training required. A lot of times in directed care licensed facilities, they don't have that memory care training for the staff and they're, they're advertising that they're a specialized memory care unit, but they're not really. <laughs> The bill also raises the maximum civil penalty for violations of health care rules from $500 to $1,000 per infraction. There's a lot more to this, and we have a full link to the legislation on our website, azfamily.com. Just click the Scene on TV tab. So far, the bill has passed the House and will soon be heard in the Senate. Live in the newsroom, Michaela Marshall for Arizona's Family. Michaela, thank you. For the first time in more than